Capability is a process of being and becoming. The capability approach to learning is a practical way to learn and to help others learn. It starts from five facts. One, it is human to learn, so everyone can and does learn. Two, learning happens everywhere and it's a lifelong process. Three, learning happens all the time from the time we are born until the time we die. Four, learning always happens in a context, for example, school, work, home, play and family. Five, learning happens fastest when it is guided and supported by peers, mentors, educators and trainers. Usually the first words that come to mind when we think of learning is knowledge, education and training. Then we think about the marks and certificates we get for showing our knowledge or what we have learned. But is learning only about what's written, tested or rewarded with a certificate? There are lots of things to know and learn that don't get certificates. Rather, they are tested by us when we do them. Like walking, talking, caring for ourselves and others, working, having relationships, etc. If we go one step further, what about how we feel or the ways we interact with people and things around us? And what about the ways we get to know things? It all seems very complicated, but it is not. Learning happens when people engage with and develop all the dimensions of what it is to be a person. In the capability approach to learning, you are the central player in learning. You are at the heart of learning. You guide your learning and the learning of other people. When you learn, you become the agent of your own and of other people's success. What this means is that as a learner, you are always doing two things. You are learning yourself and you are helping other people to learn. At every point in life, everybody has competencies or things they can do. The things you and all people can do come from four sources. Number one, their physical and mental abilities, like to see, to hear, to breathe, to crawl, walk, run, to learn and interact. Number two, their knowledge, the things they know about the world and what's around them. Number three, their sense of self and their identity, how they feel about themselves, who they are, and what they can do. Number four, their relationships, the personal relationships they have with other people and the social relationships that they are part of and that exist in society. The capability approach to learning engages a learner's identity and sense of self. A person's relationships to other people and their place in the world comes before their knowledge and skills. Learning is triggered when a person is disrupted by a challenge. A challenge can be a failure, a problem, or a difficult situation, a new job. It can be a change in work, a different relationship, or a change in goals or expectations. Whether the challenge is a negative or positive disruption, it causes a disturbance that usually brings out a learning need. Learning happens through an active process of reaction. What this means is that person thinks carefully about the situation in order to make choices, plan and take actions. This process of reaction has four dimensions. One, review. A person knows how they feel, what they know and how to relate to themselves and others in the context of the disruption. Two, they read which means that they get information. They can do this by actually reading up on the subject as well as by asking and getting advice. Three, they reflect on and weigh their options. Weighing options is about making judgments. It's about ways to go forward. Four, then they respond. They do, they act. The process of reviewing options is a conscious process. It is mastered with support from other people who are in a position to guide learning. People who facilitate learning include peers, mentors, teachers, trainers, etc. Reviewing options is a skill that improves with practice. 
Facilitation is the support that is there to help a person learn. Facilitation helps people develop and grow their abilities or competencies. The capability approach to learning equips a person to learn every day, all the time throughout their lives. It builds competencies and improves people's performance. It makes learning a lifelong process that never ends.